Hello everyone, in this short video I'm going to show you how the engine is started on a Boeing 737-800. After certain maintenance actions on the engine you have to do an engine ground run. We did a maintenance action which required an engine ground run to verify there are no leaks and that the component operates satisfactory. The start switch is moved to the ground position. This signals the starter valve to open. Bleed air can now turn the air starter. The air starter turns the N2 axle inside the engine. What you see now is an air starter in operation. Let's take a look at the engine parameters. You see that the N2 is increasing slowly. You see the N1 RPM increase. When the N2 is around 29% the engine is max motoring. This means that the air starter isn't increasing the N2 RPM anymore. The start lever is moved to the idle position. This opens the spar valve and engine valve to feed fuel to the engine. Fuel flow or FF increase. Exhaust gas temperature or EGT increase. You see the N1 RPM increase. Oil pressure and oil temperature increase. At around 57% N2 the starter switch automatically turns to off. This closes the starter valve. Monitor that the start valve message disappears. Now the engine is stabilized, the parameters look normal and the engine is running. N1 is around 20% and turns at 1000 rounds per minute. The exhaust gas temperature is around 400 degrees celsius. This increases when you select the engines as a bleed source with the packs on. N2 is around 60% and turns at 8400 rounds per minute. The engine is stopped by simply move the start lever to the cutoff position. This closes the engine valve and spar valve. Fuel flow will be zero and the EGT, N1 and N2 will decrease. I hope you liked this short explanation about the engine start on a Boeing 737-800. Thanks for watching and see you next time.